Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I thought I'd take you on a walk with me this morning. And as we walk, maybe we can sing that song that I taught you. Walk, walk, walk with Jesus every day. Talk, talk, talk with Jesus as we pray. Hear, hear, hear what Jesus has to say. Walk, talk, hear Jesus. That's a wonderful song. Thank you for singing it with me. And as we walk and we talk and we pray and we listen to Jesus, I'm reminded of the Apostles' Creed, all those things that we say we believe. And we've been going through the Apostles' Creed backwards, right? And as the wind blows in my hair and on me on this walk, I'm reminded of where we left off, that we left off with the Holy Spirit, that third part of the Trinity. When we talk about God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and that Spirit was there to give us power, to give us guidance, to give us direction, to be that voice in our ears and that spirit that pushes us forward in the way that we should go. So I've been doing some thinking as I've been walking the trails um, behind my neighborhood daily recently. And as I've walked these trails and been in God's creation, I've been thinking about a new analogy of God the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. When I think about God, I think about God being the map maker. That God knows every tree, every bush, every flower. God knows the roads. God knows the trails. God knows the paths. God knows the safe places. God knows the shady places. God knows all and can see all on the map. And then there's Jesus. And you see, God could have just could just tell us which way to go and how to be, but God did more than that. God sent us his son. God sent us God's son to be with us and to be fully human and experience the hot, sweaty days the coldness, to experience pain, to experience suffering, to experience joy, to experience love, to experience all the things on our journey together. So Jesus has already walked this earth. Jesus is born of the Virgin Mary, right? Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. And it said that he descended to the dead and then he rose again and then he ascended into heaven actually today is a special day today is ascension sunday the day that we remember jesus being out with his friends and saying that he was going before them and that he was going to be with his father to sit at his father's hand as we know the rest of that, to judge the quick and the dead. Jesus has the experience of what it is to live here, to be one of us. Jesus has that experience. So Jesus is the perfect person to sit beside the Father and say, Father, I've seen what they have done and I can help you know who they are. And that's how I see Jesus as that judge. Jesus is there to see us and to know us just as we are. And then to finish out my analogy here, and I'm going to go back to Jesus in a second, but to finish out my analogy, I'll tell you who the Holy Spirit is in my head. The Holy Spirit is Siri. Siri that tells me which way to go, which way not to go, sometimes gives me advice when I don't even ask for advice. And whenever I go off the path, Siri will say, recalculating and tell me which way to go to get right back on the path. 
But as we go back to Jesus today, Jesus was a trailblazer. Jesus has blazed the trail. He's gone before us. And so even in these uncertain times, Jesus has already gone before us and knows the way and is there to walk, to talk, to listen as we pray each and every day. So my friends, thank you for walking with me today. But more than that, thank you for walking with us along this journey together as we love God, love others each and every day. Amen.